What is up, YouTube? Rain back, and today we got Barack Gore, uh, the race legend. I put him the 115 because I don't care for, to watch someone just feed a legend. I'd rather just talk about the skills, talk about the runes that I'd run, and then talk about him himself. Um, we got him yesterday from the race. We killed it. I mean, uh, I believe that, like I, I told you guys, there's no one in my competition. Uh, the second place got one lap, um, and I was able to get one of my good subscribers, one of the people that always comments and always always mention something. I was able to get him the 115 legend. Hopefully he got enough food to get him up to like at least, I don't know, almost 100. Um, either way, he is <sighs> tough to say. I don't think I like him that much. Um, the skills that I would run are the obvious two extra turn skills. Um, gains triple damage, applies blind to itself, gives one extra turn to itself, and I believe this one right here, deals heavy earth damage to one enemy, 50% chance of stunning, art, stunning target, gains an extra turn, and then um, I'd run the other stun move, not necessarily because it's a 50% stun, because that sucks, I really, I hate that, that it's a 50% stun, but it is an insane special damage, and I believe this looks like it's 80, I think it's 80 power. Or it's, yeah, I think it's 80 power. And the last one I'd run would be deals heavy earth damage to one enemy, applies regeneration itself. The other skill that you could run in this place, and I might end up switching this, I'm not entirely sure yet, heals itself by 25% because this is instant, you get the health back. Whereas regeneration, you don't get it that turn, you get it the next turn, but you have to make it to the next turn. Um, and I might end up changing this blind to deals massive special damage to one enemy. I understand it's triple damage, but blinding yourself for two turns, you might not hit either of your next two hits. So we'll see how it looks in battle. I will try it out. You guys will see to um, know whether or not this skill is even worth running the blinding because it is almost a deny skill. I mean, it's as close as it gets without looking for those level 100s. This one, that's close enough, I don't care. Okay, so get rid of these three, get Barat Gore. And not only did we get Brock Gore, but we got like the 60 Elementium, which is awesome, and the and Krampus, which is one of the best legends in the game. Um, so it doesn't matter who I run with him. I'm just going to charge and just show you guys what the specific skills that I'm running look like on him. Right now he's buffed, yes. And I have two good runes on him. Again, if he's a free 115 legend, I'm going to put some good runes on him, even if I don't like him quite yet. Um, and I hate that he doesn't have an AoE, because if he gave himself triple damage and blinded himself, and then was able to hit one of the three enemies, that would be great. And I wish that was a, an option for any, even like a first tree skill that was a, a 40 damage um, earth-based AoE. Like, so we'll, we'll, we'll do what it looks like with triple damage. So he's blinding himself, give himself um, triple damage, extra turn, and then you can run this skill, which is awesome too. Yeah, see, I already don't know if I like it. So you're, you're taking the chance on whether or not, you're, you might not even land this one. All right, so <laughs> it's not off to a good start. We'll give that one more chance, but honestly, unless you have a legend that you can give um, Brock Gore immunity to blind, this this is not gonna be worth it because he has no AOEs. He, he would be, and he would end up being terrible. I'll try it again. I'm not not feeling confident <laughs> in in that specific skill, um, and I'm not gonna ever. You're not gonna know whether or not you're gonna be able to run Legends in War that can give immunities to things like blindness or daze or something like that. So we'll try it again, um, but I really just I don't know if I like it. And that's the thing: if you blind yourself and you your super, you might miss two of the two or even all three of them. <laughs> Blind is actually pretty accurate, and this is yes, it's a. The 95 percent of the single target attacks but man look at that 0 for 4 on the blinds and it's nothing special we'll give it one more chance and if not i am changing that skill and it's not gonna be worth it i also want to talk about the 72 hour challenge real quick i don't want to get too too far because this is more of a barat door um video um to really to show off showcase showcase these i thought this legend was not good to start with and they buffed him and he's still just on the edge of being good and it sucks because, okay, so we could try it this way. Um, and the, you're going to hit those ones every time. Awesome. You got the stun. But then what are you going to do? You, you're, is this, this is basically a useless skill, in my opinion. I mean, I, well, when would you need that? Because he's already, 
He's doing insane. Yeah, he's doing insane amounts of damage without even having triple damage. Triple damage with that would have been 150,000. Hmm. I might get rid of that skill because he has two special base, which is going to wipe any one enemy. Uh, but that that gain an extra turn. I love those gain extra turn skills that most people do. Um, so I might I might just give it a couple one chance in war. Again, you guys see I'm using two high runes. I'm only going to give high runes to legends. I know I'm going to put you on defense or I'm going to be using a lot that I've ranked up. So this is technically one of those. And like I said, the buying itself, it might not be worth running. It might just, I might just want to run pure rage because this is cool and all, but it's an earth base and right now he's not in any buffs. So there's no point in running an earth base skill. So I might end up changing that. And again, he's got two half stun moves, which is a good, decent ones. I mean, it's a free stun, but it's the massive damage and gain extra turn, which is what's more important. It's just blind. It, and there's no AOE, so it's fine. Anywho, okay, next thing, Seven Tower Challenge. Right now, two of the better um, light legends, Incognito and Aron. I love Incognito. You guys have seen my videos. You probably know that Incognita is one of my favorite support legends in general, not just for light, one of my favorite support legends. Um, and I'm, I'll pull up it right now before I get too far into the video. Okay, so the three legends, or the two legends and the epic that are in this group, I do like them. This is cool, be, I'm, I'm upset there's not a new one in here, but if you're gonna give one of the better light legends and a really good epic, as an option for uh, the seven tower challenge, I'm not gonna be upset. Hopefully, this was like the last one where they just they messed up the food. I don't know what they did with it, but they messed it up. And I'll show you what I get, what I do. You can't change the amount of gold you produce, but you can change the amount of food you produce. And last time I was getting 500 or a thousand coins every like hour. <laughs> um, and I'll see what it looks like right now. Right now I have 1,500 coins. Waiting to see what this will end up as. 1,500. Puts me at. That didn't give me anything. Sometimes you have to do a lizard's tail or something at the end. Um, but the way the last semi tower challenge was, they were messed. The food was messed up, and I was able to get uh, round three completely done. I'd gotten all three of them all three times, which was awesome. Um, but what I'm doing, what I usually do for the semi tower challenge, is I activate the food guardian, give myself double food, and then produce a few of the. Um, what are those black lotus roots? Yes, couple of those each time so that it's always a constant large amount Hopefully this works Anything here really see now I noticed earlier. It wasn't really working. I Don't know what's going on right now. Um, I don't know if they changed it or I th it might actually be messed up right now um, either way uh, Degant is one of my favorite epics not because of his stats or anything like that. It's always about the skills with the epics um, gives precision to allies, take no damage from light and dark attacks, which is perfect if it is a light or dark war, especially if you have the option to run this like I do with all team speeds. A great epic, a great choice, a great choice for um, epics in general um, because he's a really great support legend. Uh, all targets heal by 25%, remove negative status effects, that's awesome. Uh, you probably won't run, run this because it's not really an attacker. Um, Nightmares to all enemies, that's always a DOT, always a bit uh, advantageous to have. And then you can use, that's what I think I use, is that one. Applies damage boost and 50% of stamina to an ally. Um, love this epic. And remember, he is one star. So he is not a regular level 90. He is a level 95 if you get him. Um, so I might actually go for him. And maybe if I can, you know, sway my way through. I think this time, like the last time we our challenge, I think I had like, like 9,000 coins on the first day. And I really hope that they didn't mess up the food. so that Because I haven't seen, I, at least me, I have not been getting food. For some, I'm not thinking coins for getting food, but you know, collect your gold, do your PvP, and it should be, it's mostly food. I don't know what they did to it. Either way, Incognita, one of my favorite light legends. She is, she can be either an attacker or a great support. Um, she's in a couple books too, I believe. Female and something else. Maybe they changed the cost of these. Maybe, because I, I haven't done anything else, gonna do something. Uh, maybe they didn't change the cost. Um, can I look at it? Yeah, so just the female book, that's weird. He's in good legions and that's dragon and winged and then two other categories. So might be more advantageous to have the, the epic here. Um, but I love this legend. I think they changed this too. It's a 55 damage special based AO or uh, light based AOE and it gives her regeneration. And what you can do and what I do because I run this as an attacker, 
Um, also support for dungeons because he's got this skill right here, which is one of the more overpowered skills in the game. Precision and double damage to all allies. Not one ally, not 50% in precision. It's like a better than... Um, this is my favorite to run for dungeons. I run her and then I run any attacker. It doesn't matter who the attacker is, run any attacker. And this is going to wipe any team. Double damage on a good attacker. Um, and then this is always a cool skill to run. It's always a, it's cool to have like an option if you're not running straight away. But if you're going to give yourself double damage and then run this skill, it's probably going to wipe two enemies. Maybe not the light one. This one's cool to have. Applies one, ra one random negative effect to all enemies. And then obviously left going to drop. And I think I run... Is, where's that blind? Is there a blind skill? Yeah, right here. It's a zero cooldown, 45 damage, special based blind, which is cool too. So those two... Maybe I run this one. No, I don't run that one. I run this one. Okay, so I run that. And then Aron, he's alright. He's more of a support legend. He's got a high life and a good speed, just a terrible power. Um, he's got a lot of shields, I think. Yeah. Gains a shield, gains precision and damage boost. Uh, returns 75% of damage received. That's a great skill to run if you're putting them on defense or even on offense. It's better to run on offense because that way the enemy knows that um, they're not, they don't, they're going to be attacking the wrong legend. Um, but if you have this one right here, it receives all single target attacks for two turns and you can run this, but uh, it's tough. I, I don't really like, if I have a choice between running support in a, uh, a legend with two sp or three team speeds, I'd probably run the team speed legend. I'd probably put team speeds on auto run actually. Uh, this one's not that great. Double damage in a 30% shield, that's not bad. You can just give yourself a couple shields and then you'd be tough to fight. Um, so those are the three that are in here. Uh, we talked about Brock Gore. Okay, so I just checked um, Reddit to see because I know this this is probably not this is this wasn't just me. It had to have been a problem with someone else. Um, there is pa a partial problem to a lot of people right now that can't are not getting any coins from food, and this is usually the main thing. So they better fix this by tomorrow, otherwise people are not going to be getting these legends because I've already spent mm, three. No, I already spent about a hundred million on food which is the main way to get coins during this and I thought for some reason I, it seemed like a little bit low but I didn't think it was this low um, I've been not necessarily on my game today on a bunch so I haven't been getting that many coins in the first place but I should have been getting more than I have now uh, so last thing is I'm just gonna go over to ring of stuff everyone always loves this um, just a quick update Dharma's bodyguard is obviously coming I think people knew that uh, a new island just 10 more islands three dark things this legend looks awesome uh, something about the artifacts. This looks like a Tamarion type where it's going to be the yeah, the artifact uh, trait where he's going to be immune to every kind of um, DOT effect, thing like that. Um, I don't know what's going on here. This I thought this was going to be some cool little... Dude, what is this? This one, you get the legendary... I think maybe they might, they might have put out the wrong one. I don't know. Silatus in the 7 Tower Challenge. Feeling lucky. I, I don't know what happened. They're not gonna have. A, they're not gonna be able to fit to another 72 hour challenge in next month or in the next 30 days. Um, this is the cool one. Uh, the one that looks like another uh, Tamarion type artifact type of uh, attacker here or whatever. Um, what else is here? We got uh, the new breeding event. So this is gonna be great for a lot of people. Uh, there are some really great legends to get here. Razul, amazing attacker, can wipe entire teams even if he's even if they're dark teams because of his triple damage skill and get an extra turn. Copperbeard, one of the best legends in the game in my opinion. He has the mountain trait, AOE stun, activates cooldowns, a burn, another stun. Warrior, not so great. Haxter, one of the best deniers, if not the eh, one of the best deniers in the game. I won't go too far there. He his skill, um, the AOE possession, the hack. Um, bypasses possession people that are immune to possession so say you had a violet a galante and a galante jr all immune to possession on defense you could hack all three of them and they would just stack each other um, he has an, another hack skill and then an aoe stun amazing just a bad bad trait that's all the gants we already talked about it the vost one of the best epics in the game aoe freeze and i think he's got a stun too or an aoe stun uh, something like that and a shield it gets shield at the targets which is awesome um and they'll all be available. Um, some of these uh, are coming up in the next progressive island, or no, the next in the next maze. So this one, I think, uh, I don't know his name. 
uh, Yiltre, uh, Postograph, I forget his name. These two everyone has. This one everyone should have. Everyone should have Vanitas, Goldfield, Lalmu. Uh, it's just the, the two that you're going to want the most. Probably Haxter and Copperbeard. And a lot of people don't have Lu I don't think I don't know if everyone has Lumuna. I think you have to spend a little bit of money to get Lumuna. Um, and I don't know if everyone's going to have Yiltre, Yiltre by the time that this comes around. I don't know when it's going to come around, but that's really cool too. And there's one more thing I think that I wanted to mention. Was that it? Um, the books, Baby Yaga. And please, if you guys have the gems, this this pack right here is probably going to be worth it. I already showed you guys how awesome uh, Gregor's of Lyria is as an attacker. has all the DOTs that you'd want that aren't kept run of the mail. Bleeding, Quicksand is awesome. AoE Quicksand, AoE Bleed, great. Baby Yaga has an AoE Possession skill. Only, uh, att only attacker, or, no, it's a denier. The only denier on in the Earth category that has a possession, or possession skills. Just say that. The AoE Possessed did that. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you like, or don't like, I kind of don't like uh, Barat Gore. Uh, I just want, I know that a lot of people aren't going to make videos of this because I don't, not everyone was able to get him. It was a lot of tough wars for a lot of people. Um, hopefully they fix this stupid, stupid food glitch. I, I thought, I don't want to go into, I don't want to make you guys watch the me flipping cards because that's not interesting. Um, but if they don't fix this by tomorrow, it'll be a lot of food, a lot of money wasted on food. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video. Um, I plan on bringing a new war, or no, a new library book analysis this week because I haven't done one in the past two weeks. Uh, it would be the Underworld book, I think. I think Underworld's next for me. So, um, hopefully I'll be able to get to that uh, either tomorrow or Wednesday. And I those, are, those to me are more important for a lot of people because it's tough for someone to say, uh, I see this legend a lot, he's pretty good, but then you don't necessarily know what some of the other legends in the, in the book can bring. You might have two great legends, and they might just be, both be attackers, and it's always good to have Denier. So, I'll bring you that in the next couple of days, but thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.